What's up guys, Han Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how to deal with arthritis fingers for grapplers. So before I get started, Merry Christmas everybody. I hope you guys are having a good time, spending time with family and loved ones. Me and myself, uh, we're doing it tomorrow, which is the 26th. So that's why it's Christmas and I'm making videos. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into it. Now, if you grapple, if you do with a gi, so if you do something like judo or Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you're gonna end up with arthritic fingers. You're gonna have inflammation and your fingers are gonna be messed up, they're gonna be painful. So now, aside from stuff like eating right and sleeping right, and recovering properly what else can you do for your fingers honestly I feel as though there's not much we could do but what happened to me uh, recently is that for the past three weeks I haven't been training well actually the last week I haven't been training at all in, in judo and the last two weeks it was just technique so we did no sparring and now I'm waking up and my my fingers are feeling good you know so I'm able to move them with no pain, faster, they seem more, you know, there's more flexibility. I feel, you know, it's, it's healing, it's healing. So for those of you guys who, who have this, and I'm sure anybody who does BJJ or Judo has fucked up fingers, okay? So it's rest. Like aside from, you know, of course you have to get your nutrition right, your sleep right, and you have to exercise, you have to be healthy in order to optimize recovery and, and healing, but really you have to just rest your fingers if you have these you know if you have this condition of uh, your fingers being all, all smashed up and have uh, arthritis right and I know there's two types of arthritis there's the genetic kind which is uh, a, um, a uh, you know you just have it and it's like it's just unfortunately it's genetic and you know and, and you can't do nothing about that, right? It's, uh, I'm, I forgot, uh, there's a word I'm looking for, a degenerate, degener, g, degenerative uh, disease type of arthritis. So that you're just kind of like fucked, you know? Uh, but the other one is uh, wear and tear type of arthritis, which is self-induced because of something that you do um, that stresses the joint, right? So in our case, since we're grapplers, well, I'm grapplers. I know not everybody here is a grappler, but bear with me for a second. For us grapplers, it's the bane of our, of our sport. It's the fingers. Well, there's a lot of other shit, but the fingers really fucks us up. So I find that rest is, is the key thing. But like, I, I, I'm actually forced into resting... Um, I don't know why I never noticed this before, but maybe before it wasn't as pronounced, my, my arthritis, my pain. So, but now as I get older and with more time, you know, like I, I notice things more about my body and how I feel, how I react, I'm more sensitive. And I think as you get older, you become more sensitive to, to, um, to everything that's going on in your body, which I think is a good thing. And yeah, it helps with uh, survival and, you know, making the right choices. If you listen, if you listen. So... Because this, for the past three weeks, I haven't been doing practice, you know, like grappling, uh, you know, as usual, the fingers are getting much better. So here's my thing. I think that if, let's say the holidays finish and now you guys are back in training and you're doing your jiu-jitsu, you're doing your judo. Now, this might be very hard for judo, unfortunately, because judo is highly grip dependent. Like if you don't grab the guy, there, there's no judo possible, right? <laughs> there is, but eh, you know, like if you're not grabbing him, but he's grabbing you, oh shit, it, you're gonna have problems. So, but for BJJ guys, I think the idea here would be to change up your grips. Maybe during, like let's say when you're feeling like, man, you need, um, you know, it's been like two, three months, you've been rolling hard uh, with the gi and stuff. Your fingers are, are pretty messed up, you know? What you do is maybe you take like a month where you change up your training, if possible, okay? Because I know some guys compete, some of you guys compete and stuff like that, so that's a little bit more complicated. You can't be not using your grips, especially if you're prepping for competition. But outside of competition prep, maybe take a month, okay, to change it up. Maybe do no gi only, or if you really insist on doing the gi, 
use no gi grips. So you want to use cable grips, you want to be grabbing the, uh, uh, what do you call it here? <laughs> the wrist, the forearm, okay, cupping. And then, or if you gotta grab, but grab, but then let go when you feel that that, that person pulling away and like about to rip your, uh, uh, you know, rip his gi off and, and just like tear your, bust up your fingers in the process. So I think if, if you guys are able to do that for three weeks, mo a month, you know, give your body time, your fingers to heal, then you'll be, you'll be able to come back and then keep training. Because the thing is, I've seen guys who never stopped and never, never rested their hands, their fingers. And like, man, you look at their fingers and it's completely like, how do you swollen up at the joints, fucked up. They can't even make a fist practically. And I think that's, that's counterproductive to, um, to your life and to, to jujitsu also. You know, like your, your hands are made to, to close and open and have a little bit of dexterity there. So like if you, I don't, I don't think it should be a sign of a badge of honor, so to speak, to have like fucked up hands. Like you're, they're going to be fucked up anyway, if you keep on practicing. And most of us are going to keep on practicing. But why, like, why make it come faster than it should? when you could like cycle it, you know? So you could do your, once in a while, take a month to really give a break to your fingers by using no-gi grips, okay? Or um, I was gonna say, or do no-gi, but if you're doing no-gi, you're, 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 not, you're using no-gi grips, obviously. But take time to, you know, like give your hands a rest. Ideally, is that you just stop for a, but I know it's very hard, but ideally, it would even be to, to do something else instead of uh, grappling where you have to use your grips like that for you know two weeks to a month it depends how fast you heal me I noticed that it's been three weeks now I haven't been, uh, done anything and my fingers feel honestly fucking great really so and this is once again temporary because once uh, January comes around and I start training again and I start preparing for competition ah, you know it's gonna come back but hey at least if you, you give it a rest here and there it heals up you know I think longevity wise your your grips your fingers will last uh, longer so I think it's a good idea so I wanted to share share that with you guys so listen once again Merry Christmas happy holidays uh, I'll make another video and I wish you guys happy New Year's in in that video when I do the you know after New Year's or Anyways, whatever, you guys know what I mean. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave something in the comments. If you have any questions, you know, uh, leave them there and I answer all of my comments at this point since the beginning really because I don't even have that much subscribers so, and I enjoy talking with you guys a lot. You know, we have discussions, I learn a lot and uh, it's, it's a great community sharing and all that. And also share this video. It helps the channel to grow. And so I thank you very much for that, guys. So that's it for this one. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.